excited about this one, let me tell you. It's a man. Oh, okay. Okay, so it took a while to find, but I managed to get a hold of the Mid Journey AI. It's an AI that you can find on Discord. I'll show you in a sec as to how you can get a hold of it too. And essentially, the main purpose for this AI is to scour the internet and to study, to look up upon so many different sources of reference material in order to create from scratch an image of your choosing. And so if I ask it to create a woman that's in despair, it will basically look for any type of material online as well as readable material, study that material, and then from the ground up, build an image based on my search term or my command. So we're gonna get into this today and we'll show you how to use it. And we're also gonna look up some other images just to see as to what the AI thinks. Certain things like sleep paralysis look like, demons as well as the face of God. So let's get into it. So what you're looking at here is Discord. Most people usually use it for gaming. It's like a chat room for uh, gamers. You can share a screen and you can basically talk as if you're in the same room. So if I speak, other people can just speak over me as if we're actually in the same space. Whereas other platforms like Google Hangouts back in its heyday, you would speak. And then if someone else spoke, it would cut you off. And then the microphone would turn on for the other person, right? or at least the camera would switch to the other person. But this is just a chat room where you don't see each other's faces. That is on here too, but ultimately it's there just to speak commentary with a group of friends while you're playing video games. But there is a small corner of Discord which can be used for other things such as AI art. Now, what you're looking at here is my inbox. And the Mid Journey AI, the bot, is in my inbox and it's able to give me messages. This is where I go back and forth with this AI and I get it to actually illustrate for me different pictures such as this one here. I asked it to create for me an image of life and death from the perspective of a blind person. And this is what it gave me. Okay, it looks pretty cool. It has that kind of, we're not quite alive yet vibe to it, but also a subtlety of death like you're just coming from a place of death into life. Now, from the perspective of a blind person, I can see how you can't see their faces. And so, and some of the things are quite out of focus, but uh, who knows? I'm not a blind person, so I'm not sure as to how they would see this image, but this is what the AI believes it would look like. I did some more uh, and, and I'll show you how this works now. Uh, this one here, last selfie on earth. What you're looking at here is you're seeing four different illustrations created by this AI. And underneath it, we have U1, U2, U3, and U4. This stands for upscale one, two, three, and four. And what it's referring to is this first picture here, U1, the second one next to it, U2, one below the first, U3, and then U4, so one, two, three, four. Below that you have V1, V2, V3, and V4. These stand for variation one, two, three, and four. Essentially, if I was to click on V1, it would take this first image here, and then it would show me a variety of the same picture, more or less, okay? Now, I went ahead and I chose to upscale this one here. And so what it gave me was a much more detailed depiction of the last selfie on earth. As you can see here, it looks like there's a building back here, or perhaps it's a rocket that was supposed to be launched, but it's kind of decayed as if it's just broken down. We've even got the ruins of some type of semicircular shape on the floor here, but you can't see any debris around it. So how long has this been sitting here for? But then you've got this woman here, which I only realized yesterday as to how creepy this picture actually is. Because if you look <laughs> really, Closely, you can tell that she has a backpack here. It's not obvious at first, but you can see there's a backpack here and her arm comes out towards the camera, of course, as you take a selfie. However, if you look at the face, there isn't one. Matter of fact, if you look at the parting in her hair, you can tell that she's actually facing the camera. When I first saw this picture, I thought she had her phone behind her head like this, taking kind of a back shot of her frame. 
looking onward to that ruined rocket of, sh of sorts. This gives a kind of I'm dead inside vibe, whilst at the same time hinting to the, the viewer that she's probably been through a lot in order to get to that state of mind. So that's what the AI decided to create. And again, it took parts of this from the internet. And so I also asked it to do the world in 2060 after the coronavirus. And what it decided to create for me was a weird apocalyptic landscape, one by which where it seems to be barren of people. And yet the coronavirus itself has become so evolved that it's kind of become visible. It's become these fleshy, alien-looking type things. Although very Earth-like, of course, because it's red. Depicting, perhaps, the iron in our atmosphere and or landscape. Now, after looking at these, I decided to upscale the second one. And so what you're looking at here, see you two, is a much more refined version of the one that I chose. And it kind of looks like there's a planet there that's been reconstructed by people on Earth, either to run away from the coronavirus in a last ditch attempt to save humanity, or <laughs> to evacuate all of the people that weren't vaccinated. Now, last one before we go further into this, I also asked it to give me an illustration of life before birth, and this is what it created. I really like the second one, although I was torn between the first and the second, but I chose the second one anyway. And I just clicked on YouTube for upscale, and there we go. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Gives me a sensation of the womb, although it's not quite perfect. It's almost as if life is trying to figure out how to form itself into something. It also looks like there's a being here. To the eye in its head, holding on to something. Love the use of colors. Now, what I could do is I could hit make variations of this one as well, or I could tell it to upscale this to the max. And you would have thought that this was maxed out already, but no, it can do far more to this. You can also do a light upscale, but in my experience, it tends to lower the quality a little bit you know, rather than giving it a little bit of a touch up. Okay, so now let's actually use the bot and go through the process itself. What you have to do is you have to type in forward slash imagine, okay? And then you type your command. And so my channel is all about spirituality, astral projection and sleep paralysis. So let's take a look at what sleep paralysis would look like from the perspective of an AI. Let's just keep it simple for now. There we go. So you can see the progress here, 0% at the moment, but it's coming up with some images. Let's see how creepy these are. And we'll also, after this, look at the face of God from the perspective of the AI. There we go. These are looking creepy already. Now, if you don't know what sleep paralysis is, Sleep paralysis is a state that you can get into by accident, usually when you're somewhat semi-awake and semi-asleep. The actual term for that state of being is the hypnagogic state. When you get there, you can see things in an otherwise odd dimension. See things just like this. I really like that third one. Now, if you were to get into this hypnagogic state during the afternoon, you wouldn't end up here. You go to a place that's way more beautiful, a place that seems very magical and appealing to a lot of people. And it's often why trying to get into sleep paralysis during these times are often sought after for this otherworldly experience, right? Where you see all types of things. This is cool. I like the way that the bed sheets kind of look like a person, yet it has this kind of paralyzed 
sense about it. Like you can't see the person's legs, you can't see their hands. It's almost as if they've become the very blanket or the sheet itself. Its head is there, expressionless. And you've got this ominous dark figure just towering over it, showing that it's in control. That's often how people feel. <laughs> They'll also feel something sitting on their chest in sleep paralysis states. Now, like I said, if you don't do this um, during the night, this won't happen. And so you won't encounter these beings who actually encounter stuff like angels. Let's make a variation of this. You'll encounter things like spirit guides and light beings instead. And they can show you some things, very profound things and or details about your life. It's huge. I've been making videos on it for a while. Oh wow, these are cool. As well as how-to videos. But again, just make sure that if you're gonna follow along with something like that, just do it during the morning or the afternoon. I really like these. But you get the gist as to how you're using it. Right now we've got variations. We can just upscale one of these if we want and you'll see more. But I'm gonna stick with this because this is my favorite. Now, let's see what the AI thinks God looks like. So same thing, forward slash imagine, and then I'll show you how to get a hold of this uh, AI too. The face of God, enter. I am um, <clears throat> excited about this one, let me tell you. <gasps> oh, okay. It's like he's, he's standing there in the first one. Now, these are subject to quite a bit of change as the percentage goes up. You can see here, we're, we're keeping track of the processing that it's doing. Wow. <laughs> I am always amazed. We have a female. Yes. We have a man, of course. We have a Jesus Christ looking figure here. A female, very young, very youthful, like she could be walking around today. And then we have more of an entity there in the clouds. Wow. Man, this is, I don't know which one to pick. Maybe I'll pick a couple and then we can check out what the devil looks like in accordance to this AI. Let's upscale the third one because it looks more holy, in my opinion. You know what's crazy is I didn't even ask for a hyper-realistic picture of God's face. And this is what it gave me. It already looks realistic. And there he is. According to Mid Journey. Man, I'm in love with this. I love how the... I love how the crown so to speak, kind of blends into what looks like a headdress that comes down. I want to, they should make this as like actual clothing. And the use of colors here. It's kind of like he's looking to the right of me. Is there something there? We've also got what appears to be a cross on his head. I'm going to save this because I really like this image. Okay. Let's do the devil. For us, let's imagine the face. The devil. Here we go. Yeah, we've got that youthful one coming into view here. Something that's more demonic at the bottom. And this top right one. I'm liking it. It almost looks like Kurt from X-Men. 
and a female one. Oh, wait, we got two females. I really like what? Okay, this surprised me. Dual set of horns. Okay. I can't be greedy. Let's just do one. And then I'm going to do this female here because I've never seen that before. Okay, let's do the second one. Upscale the second one. Now, whilst that's rendering, I'm going to show you as to how you can get a hold of this too. Here is the Mid Journey server. It's one by which where if you were to click on these little rooms, so to speak here, newbies too, you'll see everyone else that's using this. Okay, these people are using the free version and the beta version. And the only difference that I know about the beta and the free version is that everything that you create goes here or in one of these rooms, okay, for everyone else to see. If you actually, like someone tried to do a naughty picture there, I didn't think you could do that here. But now everyone knows that uh, Aero Konomi did this. You see what I mean? You want to keep it private. When you pay for a subscription, you actually, uh, you just get your own messages, see? And so everything that you put here, hey, it's done. Everything that you've done shows up in your own private inbox. Doesn't mean that no one else sees it though, because off this screen, off this inbox, it does actually uh, manifest, so to speak, elsewhere too, just like everyone else's. Now, okay. Okay, it's not too bad. I like the symbols behind his head. It does feel devilish. And he actually kind of has goat eyes. Okay, this is way more detailed than I thought. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Let's upscale the first one while I continue showing you as to how to get a hold of this. So, yeah, if you pay for the subscription, you get your own thread in your own inbox. If you don't, anything that you search will show up in the server for everyone else to see. To actually find this server, you can't just go to explore and type in mid journey. Nothing comes up. Okay, nothing comes up. And well, nothing mid journey comes up. You have Dol E, you have Dol E2. They're like mid journey, but they're not the same. So you're probably wondering as to where the hell it is. Most people search online for it and they always say, did it get taken down? Where did it go? And they freak out. The reality is, is it's still here. You just have to search for the invite link. Now I found the invite link by searching on Google, but I'm gonna show you as to what it looks like here. So you can just pause the video and type it into Discord. Here we go, and it's got notification. Right here, if you were to write that in into the invite section, you will actually be taken to this same page here. Once you're here, you need to look up paid subscription and you'll find all of these different threads here. I just kept scrolling down until I found the actual link to the paid subscription. What it will take you to is this. Now, because I'm already a part of or a member of their uh, bot, it's just showing my name here and my plan that I'm on at the moment, I get to use this 200 times a month. But when you come across this page, when you find it in the thread, this won't be like this. It'll be much more simpler. Uh, and then you click on, you know, which plan you want. But essentially, it will look very similar. If you click on the wrong link, you'll be taken here, where you'll be asked to join the beta version or sign in with Discord. Either one will just take you to a free plan where all of your stuff will be seen by everyone else. And so they really are two different links. I would show you exactly what all of this is, but it goes off to infinity by the looks of it. And so that's it. This is how AI interprets what we put on the internet in order to create art. It's pretty cool, pretty detailed. Check it out if you have time. And if you're interested in astral projection, then check out my videos on my YouTube channel. And I'll speak to you all pretty soon. Take care, peace. Oh, wait a minute. I upscaled the girl too. Yes. Got some raven vibes. Ooh, she looks evil.